Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And now out come the Steelers. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here. And two, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jonathan Allen in there to sack him for a loss of six. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by the safety, D'Angelo Hall. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. as they run the counter play. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Now they try the right side here. He's to the 10. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Chris Thompson with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Redskins capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory... Not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. To we'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Now Bell, and he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.
So that'll do it for us. For my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew, I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Redskins as we say so long.